a New Testament, Ephesians, first chapter, the 11th through 15th yes. verse. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Stand up. Stand, stand. Amen. In the year that King Isaiah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his tree filled the temple. Above it stood several bells. Each one had six wings, with twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet. And with twain he did fly. And one cried unto the other, and said, Holy, holy yes, Lord. is the Lord of hosts. The holy of his Lord. And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried. And the house was filled with smoke. This said, I woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live call in his hand, which he had taken with the drop tongue from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this hath touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You may be seated. I want to give you a little rest before we read Ephesians 4, chapter 11 through 15. There's a storm out over the ocean. It is moving. It's a way. If your soul's not Some evangelists 
and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and company craftiness whereby they lie and wait to be deceived. But speaking in truth and love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Christ. You may be seated. We thank God for the blessed word of God. Amen. At this time, praise God. We're going to open up when we have come into this house. Praise God. Amen. And even though we are time conscious, we want the Holy Spirit to have its way. Because we dedicate this service to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him. We have come into this house to gather in his name to worship him. Hallelujah. We have come into this house to gather in his name to worship Christ the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. 
praise God. We're going to use what we got. Yeah. Oh, praise God. We're going to ask that you prepare yourself for offering. Amen. We're going to ask our Pastor Robinson so the people stand for Bishop Eric's. Amen. Sam. Amen. And uh, praise God. Whoever he wants to select, amen, amen. to hold an offering for the church, or you can just hold a separate offering on the side for the church. Okay. Amen. We want to remember the man of God tonight. This afternoon, excuse me. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. He is holding the basket for our preacher. Amen. And He's going to get another plate for uh, the church. We're a little short-handed, but we ain't short-handed to God. Amen. Amen. That offering, amen, will be for the church. Amen. Amen. And our candidates are holding the uh, basket, the basket for the preacher. Amen. Praise God. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. What we are about to receive, we ask that you take this seed and multiply it into a firm of God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we ask you in the name of Jesus, give those who have not and bless those who desire to give it that they do not have at this time to not go on that kingdom. In Jesus' holy righteous name we pray. We give cheer on the earth today. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're, we're still taking out our offering. Amen. Thank you. 
and you claim miracles. Trucks in America return back trucks with the crew to declare miracles, signs, wonders. No sickness, sickness be dried up, no disease. With the crew to declare that the jails are open now. With the crew to declare jobs are closed up now. Healing and deliverance come forth now. Breakthroughs come forth now. Mighty move of God come forth now. With the crew to declare God that you will do death cancellations now. Now. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. I believe in my I receive. It is done. It is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus. You will never lead the same way. Every sacrifice that you have sown down the years, 15 years, 40 years, God, I'm going to bless your finances now. Property come now. Ministries growth now. Every ministry in here, call now. Hallelujah. Ministries, if I say my ministry, my ministry will grow. Will grow. My ministry, my ministry will flourish. Will flourish. My, ministry my ministry will receive, will receive healing, healing, deliverance, deliverance miracles, miracles, signs, signs wonders, wonders, all, all around, around the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord.
came in here with my walker. I'm about to walk up there without it. Praise the Lord. Right now, I'm not hurting. That's a good thing. I'm not sure I've had all to die. I'm going to make it to this day. I'm all right. I'm all right. Glory to God. Yes, sir. I feel like I was going to have to sit in my walker pray the word. I'm not going to sit in my walker. I'm going to stand right here in this pulpit like preaching to Glory to God. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. All right. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's good to be seen. That's it's good to be seen. That's right. Nah. Fix that for me, sir. That thing is all. I can't do it. I need a Apostle Holman. Apostle Holman and Holman. Holman. Yes. And Apostle Evangelist Lane. Well, I got everybody name. And each and every one of you out there in your respective place. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to be strong. And if you don't say nothing back to me, that's all right. All right. Because I know you're hurting me. I want y'all to take a good look at me. Take a good look at me. Okay. Okay, you just take it off of me. I think about the word now. Don't even look at me no more when you have to. I thought I was going to get it. I thought I'm in my wheelchair, but it wouldn't fit in this car. I'm so glad it didn't fit in this car because I get to stand here with the real priest. Glory to God. And God is going to do his thing through me. There is a word on today. There is a word on today. It's something that we all can apply to our everyday life. I've been struggling with this thing. I'm going to pray in a second. I've been struggling with this thing to figure out what kind of word was I going to bring for today. As you know, I got seven churches. Well, I had seven churches. Now I have eight. And most of the churches are around the world. That's what I have the setup going on because that Churches in Africa, five in Africa now, one in Pakistan, one in India, and one right in New Jersey. And because of that reason, I, I, I'm trying to find something that we all can relate to. But what the Spirit told me, doesn't matter. Now we come from the Word of God, we want to relate to it anyway. But this Word is for all, I could preach one sermon to a thousand people. Everybody can do something different and then it'll be what God wants them to receive right. at that time. Right. Okay? And let's go to the Lord first. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I come before the throne just to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I humbly bow, Father God, I call on your name, Lord God, that you are God, and beside you there is none other. Lord, allow me to decrease that you can increase. Give me clarity of speech and bring a word to your people today so that they can apply to their everyday life. Something that can help them move forward in their spiritual walk with you. And Father God, if I fail to ask of anything on my behalf, fill that to bring me on this day. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Um, it's two, the first one is Matthew the 28th 
eight chapters. You guys call it the Great Commission. Verse 19 to the end. Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 and 20. And the word of God reads, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Whatsoever, teach them to observe all things, whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, Amen. even until the end of the world. And I want you to turn your Bibles to Acts, the fourth chapter. Acts, the fourth chapter. And stop it. We know. It's the story how Peter and John spoke over the, the, the empty man's life and he gained strength in his ankle bone. He'd been sitting at that knee called beautiful yes. all his life, yes. but he was born that way. You know, and before Jesus went to the cross, he told his disciples to go mm -hmm. in all the land. And it says here, Peter and John, okay, they were teamed up at this time. I'm about to read it in a second. But Peter and John were captured the gate, and then the man was begging for arms. We know what that is, panhandling. You see him every day, just sitting out there. The Bible says, beware how you entertain a stranger who could be an angel unaware. We see people out there begging all the time. And a lot of times, we turn our nose up to them or walk the other way because we won't be bothered with them again. But we need to have more compact because first of all, the grace of God for us goes high. Okay, but back to my story. When they spoke to them, they said, Silver and gold have I none, for such as I have, give I thee. Yes, yes. Rise up and walk. I tell you this part because this is in the third chapter, but we're going to read from the fourth chapter. So I'm just giving you a little bit of background of what's going on. And immediately he rose up and gave his strength in his ankle bone. Uh -huh. And he was rejoicing and went off into the temple with them. Amen. Once they got inside the temple, they were questioned because a lot of people saw this miracle. And they laid their hands on them. When the Bible said lay hands, that means they arrested them. Okay, and kept in question them. Now moving on to the fourth chapter. Okay? They, they lay hands on them and questioned them as to what authority did they do this miracle. They just crucified Jesus upon it. Now who was coming around trying to do miracles too? Mm -hmm. Now who the word? Verse 7, chapter 4 of Acts. And when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what hour or by what name had he done this? Then Peter, for the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the empty man, by what means he was made whole? Be it known unto you, all, known unto you all, I'm sorry, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him do this man stand here before you all. This is the stone which is set at naught of you building, which has become the head of the corner. We call it the chief cornerstone. Nevertheless, I like that word. Nevertheless, the salvation in any other, the, 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 there is none other name under heaven among men whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, I perceived that they were unlearned, ignorant men. Yes, yes. Unlearned. Ignorant men do marvel, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. 
My topic is you don't have to be a real tool. <laughs> so, what's what? You better go ahead now. No, you don't. I'm on. You don't have to be a real tool. The Lord was what? All right now. He said when they seen them and perceived them to be unlearned, ignorant men. Yes. Okay, but yet they can tell them the same Jesus whom you crucified yes. gave the authority to heal them to man. That, 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 that reminds me, right? Okay. We be, we, 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 we going to school. I'm, I'm in school right now. I can't point the finger at nobody. I'm going for my doctorate in divinity. Okay, and I still got a couple of years to go. But I'm going to graduate by the grace of God. And ordination comes from God. Oh, yeah. Certification right. comes from man. All right. All right. 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 So under Caesar, that would just everything hey. we do here, oh, we got to show paperwork. Yeah. We got to show paperwork. We got to prove who we are. We got to prove who we are. <laughs> you know, and the thing about this is um, the ordination is just a finality. If you got it in you, you got it in you. If you don't, you don't. And the statement is you got it. Or you, you see, some of us were sent. Some of us just went. Oh. Many were called, and few were chosen. Yeah. But a lot of people that was called didn't answer their call. But we got a lot of people out there put a call on. This call is not. A lot of people call on and think that they're special. I just want you to know there's no big eyes and no big news in this thing. It's not how much you went to school. It's not how much money you got. It's not how much you entertain the kind of vision. You have to all say to say, I may not sing like an angel. I may not preach like Paul. But I can tell the love of Jesus that I will die for the Lord. It's not about that. It's not going to be for an outside show to the dying world. You think, I just want to talk about the love of Jesus. Yes. Right. 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 God so loved the world that he was only got a son. Who said that even though it should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's the whole message right there. That, and uh, last time I preached, and my topic was Jesus was not the messenger, but he was the message. Uh, and that turned out really well. But that's not what we're talking about today. I'm talking about, we're talking about now your personal relationship with God. The reason why the disciples was able to do the things that they did because they walked with Christ. That's right. They walked with Christ. The reason why we able to do the things that God allowed us to do because we walked with Christ. Open our hearts and we allow them to come in. And he, 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 he makes the goal within you. And he, the goal will guide you into all the truth. I can't do nothing without the of God. Some people go out there, like they said, we cast out devils in your name. But he said, depart from me. I know you're not. You work with them in liberty. We got people out there that spit a few words out at you and spit out an offering basket and expect you to pay them. I have people tell me they're not coming to their church because there are enough people there for them to get an offering. This is not about money. This is not about money. This is about winning souls. And if you enter this for the money, gentlemen, find another occupation. When you enter this to so win some souls, get on board. Get on board. This is what it's all about. I love you. And I'm going to work with you. I'm going to do everything I can to get you to where you need to be. And so, bro, you don't need my help, bro, bro. And you go on, you come to each one, to each one. Iron sharp and iron. You might be teaching me. And what do you get? Who knows? I'm going. You coming. I don't know you are. And I don't want you to ever get too comfortable doing this. Don't get comfortable. Be confident. Trust the Lord. But don't get too comfortable preaching God's word. Because when we get comfortable, we start thinking we're powerful. When we start thinking we're powerful, the higher you grow up in your ministry, the higher you grow up in your 
higher level than people you know. And he knows nothing. He knows how to nothing. And I'll tell you, you have to be humble. You have to be humble. Jesus washed the disciples' feet. All right. He washed the disciples' feet. Just because we are ministers of the Gospels, just because we are part of the five-fold ministry, doesn't make us better than anybody else. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We're not better. We're just the loopers. And we are God grant us certain mercies. You know, we allow us to be like a separate God of our own. Thank you. 
mess with it, with the music, where you went. My mess became my message. My test became my testimony, and my life experience, saints, became my ministry. Those that are struggling, if you see what God has delivered me from, if you accept it from me, then he for somebody that can do it. But if you ain't been through nothing, you can't tell me nothing.
and breakthrough. Because you are the bread of life. You were the sacrifice for mankind. We decree and declare that you would anoint this holy sacrament. As the candidates take this holy sacrament, we decree and declare healing, deliverance, our part of your Holy Ghost. Amen. We touch it and agree it right now as saints of God. Yes. With those around the world on different platforms. We decree and declare healing, deliverance, salvation, miracles, signs, and wonders. Father God, we ask you God to forgive us for all of our sins today. Any thoughts and deeds be done to ourselves or those that are around us. We ask you God to clean us from the inside out. We ask you right now to sanctify us. We decree the holiness. Somebody said, Be holy. I'm holy. And we decree and declare this day. And we decree and declare miracles. We decree and declare miracles that they take this holy sacrament. God, reveal your presence. Reveal your body and reveal your heat and virtue. Touch your room as they take this in my shot for your presence. In this place, as they take this holy sacrament, their families will be delivered. Their ministries will be delivered and we decree and declare it in Jesus name Amen Amen Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Glory to God Amen Do the candidates at this time Amen Praise God. Have their communion set? I think it is, yes. Amen. We're going to wait till they get their communion set. Amen. Praise God. Gentlemen, bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Set it off and as you do this. Yes, hallelujah. And remembrance of me. Hey, What a night there. Hey, glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. For I have received of the Lord that which I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. Yes. Coming out of 1 Corinthians 11, chapter, yes. beginning at the 23rd verse. And when he had given thanks, and break it, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. Amen. I ask that you gently fall back the top layer, get the wafer out. Amen. Now what not a bone in his body was broken, but he was bruised. He was whipped. Called out. Had a up there trial. Oh yes he did. False witnesses. Yes. Now break it in half. Break your wafer in half. He was broken hearted for you. He came to his own and his own received him not. Born of a virgin Mary. Praise God. He gave his life for us. Amen. And his ministry. He was our nourishment, our bread of life, as mentioned. Let us now take of the body of Jesus Christ. You may take the wafer 
at this time. You may eat the wafer at this time. They might need help. They got it. They have it. They got it. Amen. Praise God. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. But as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for this juice representing your blood. Without the shedding of blood, there's no omission. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God, for how you was our Passover lamb, but the life of the flesh is in the blood. Oh, glory to God, the blood that justifies. We thank you, Lord, Father God, for your 